Today we wanted to go over auto repair shops and uh, we're lucky enough to have Greg Turnage, an agent in our office that um, has a background from the Florida State University. And uh, Greg, why don't you talk about talk about your background and, and how you got an insurance and that sort of thing. Yeah, so uh, I actually was born and raised in Gainesville, Florida. And then I got the opportunity to go to Florida State and I decided to jump at the opportunity and I actually majored in risk management and insurance and then also had a double major of real estate. Um, I love insurance. It's a great opportunity to work with business owners and especially individuals. I don't do as much uh, personal lines insurance, but it's a lot of fun to work with people out there in your community and um, you learn something new every day. Now, you also played football at Florida State. Uh, talk a little bit about that and who Yeah, you, so that, who that, that made the jump a little bit easier. I, uh, I, I just told a coworker today, actually, that uh, when I went to go play football at Florida State, I donated all of my Gator clothes, and then I took all of my Gator posters of Tim Tebow and everything off my childhood bedroom walls. So... It was kind of an easy change for me, but uh, it was a lot of fun. It was an experience I wouldn't trade for anything. Cool. Um, so why the interest in, in insuring and helping auto repair shops? What, what made you try, start getting interested in helping auto repair shops specifically? Well, my, uh, my father-in-law actually owns an auto repair shop, and uh, he <laughs> luckily gave me the opportunity to review his insurance. And in doing so, I realized that there's a lot of opportunity and things that he hadn't been explained to before. Um, and it was a good way to kind of show him a few different things and improve his insurance and save him a little bit of money as well. Yeah, I, I remember I worked on that with you a little bit and I remember there were quite the gaps at the end of the day when we uh, kind of dug in there and looked at it that, you know, he wasn't aware of and in, yeah, that, yeah, that situation kind of led me to churn my brain a little bit and think, okay, I'm sure there's other auto repair shops with similar gaps or similar things that they haven't had explained before and also similar opportunities to save them money here and there. Um, so I kind of just, you know, started doing some investigating and I came to find out that there are a lot of markets who are very interested in auto repair shops. Exactly. All right, so the next question, that kind of leads us to what are the most important coverages auto repair shops should have? So the main coverages, I'll start off with the big ones, such as garage liability, garage keepers, property, business personal property. Um, those are kind of the big ones to hit on. Yeah, so your garage liability is going to give you the liability for your auto repair shop. Um, and then you've got the garage keepers, which is going to give you coverage for it. If you have an accident, um, you know, with an employee and a customer's vehicle. Um, and then also one I left out too was workers comp, um, which is going to cover your employees. Your property is going to cover your building. And then your business personal property is going to cover the contents within your building. Um, and then the business income is also big coverage, but I've seen a few businesses that are lacking in that area as well, which we can get into in a little bit with coverages that they're kind of missing a lot. I remember too when we were going over your father-in-law's coverage the pollution coverage was sort of a you know can be a big deal that yeah there's actually multiple coverages that a lot of times that i've been seeing when i go and do the free reviews with the auto repair shop owners the, the coverages there i've seen missing a lot are pollution epli um and cyber liability those are kind of the three big ones that i've been seeing are missing a lot um, pollution is exactly how it sounds. It's going to give you pollution for your on-site premises. Um, we think that's an important coverage to the fact that they're working with oils, other chemicals that go into vehicles. Um, the second thing is EPLI. That's going to help protect the owners from lawsuits against their employees or their employees. You know, for it could be false firing, failure to promote, um, even sexual misconduct is probably one of the bigger ones. Um, and the third thing is cyber liability, which is going to help give you protection and notify clients. If you are hacked or you release important information such as credit cards, or you can even get your uh, vendors hacked as well, the ones who are your 
part source pliers. Yeah. So we've been seeing those missing a lot. Most owners, you know, they fix cars and that's kind of what they focus on and they trust their insurance agent to just have this stuff covered. And, you know, not all policies include that. So when you go through and look at a, a, a policy for auto repair shop, there's lots of different variables and there's lots of different coverages that, that most auto repair shop owners don't even realize they need and they all think it's covered. So it's, it's important to go through. Um, and the auto repair shop owners, I know the meetings that I've had and it's good and a bad thing, but they are extremely loyal to who they want to do business with, which you can't help but respect. Um, but a lot of the times when I walk into these meetings, they've been with the same insurance agent for a really long time. And, um, you know, we're not, you know, I don't want to go in there and, you know, <laughs> be bad and say, oh, you know, you should come do this, do that. The way I kind of always approach the meetings is it's a free, free review. If you like what I'm saying, then we would love to represent you. And if you don't, the biggest takeaway is I hope you bring it to your current agent and get the best coverages you can get for yourself. At the end of the day, the most important thing is that you have the adequate coverages. Yeah, and I think that's I think that's the smartest way to do it. Um, in general, how do most of these insurance companies rate or determine how much premium to charge these auto repair shops? And and is it different? Do different companies do it differently? Or yeah, so I mean, there's a lot of different factors that go into it, especially if it's a different line of insurance. Like workers' comp is always going to be based off of your payroll. Um, but the work comp carriers always, like I said, for some reason, our repair shops are very popular right now. But workers comp, you know, a lot of people have the misconception that it's just a state grade and there's not really anything that the, you know, you can do to get them better pricing, which is one of the best, big, biggest misconceptions out there. Um, you know, there's plenty of opportunities for improvement, whether it be dividends, um, you know, Dividends, the way I explain them is they're equivalent to discounts. Um, and a lot of a lot of the meetings that I've had, the insured has never even heard of dividends. Um, and they're always interested in learning more because like I said, it's discounts and you honestly get it just for having good loss history. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when it comes to your other things like liability or property, you know, there's property rates that are determined by the carriers out there. The liability is on occasion either, you know, rated by square foot or payroll. And then a lot of times your garage keepers, which is giving you protection for customers' vehicles, that's going to be rated off of the amount of the vehicle's cost on your lot at any one time, um, which is kind of a big deal because a lot of times uh, that is undervalued. And so the problem with that is if you have $300,000 of vehicles on your lot and you have only $150,000 of insurance, if something bad happens, a tree falls and, you know, damages $200,000 worth or even all the $300,000 on your lot, you know, you're going to be out the fifty dollars to $150,000 because you didn't have adequate garage keepers coverage on your policy. Sure. Um, but there's a lot of different rating factors and that's kind of why, that's kind of why I like going in and explaining that um, to the, to the insureds because that way they know what's being rated for and why it's important to have the adequate limits. Yeah. So here's a big question that I'm sure everybody watching may want to know. How much do you typically save an auto repair shop on their insurance once you review it? Um, so it's tough to say because every account's different, but I would say usually on the workers' comp alone, it's usually about $800 to $1,200 just right off the bat. Um, when it comes to the property and liability, I haven't been doing a whole lot of savings just due to the fact that we usually add more coverages. So usually I try to, I've been doing a pretty good job of getting similar pricing with the liability and property and personal property and business income. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I'm also adding extra coverages that I didn't previously have. So I would say with all that, we're staying about even, but it's definitely, it's even in price, but not even in coverages. It's definitely better yeah. coverages. Yeah. So it's like a value play. Basically you, you, you might save them a couple thousand dollars, but if they don't have the coverage that they thought they had, you know, they, now that at least they have the coverage that they thought they had, you know, for the same price. So 
Uh, yeah, work comp is definitely the biggest room for improvement when it comes to pricing. And then the other side of it for the property and the liability is definitely a bigger improvement for coverages available. All right. How would an auto repair shop owner get in touch with you? Um, well, there's multiple ways. You can either call Dar Shackow and ask for Greg Turnage. Um, or you can email me, which my email is very long. I give it out probably 15 times a day. Um, or you can contact me at my cell phone, which I can give out now. Let's do All that. right. So my email address is gturnage at darshackoutinsurance.com. Anything else you want to add? Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing to add right now is just to keep an open mind. And we want to do business with people who take their business seriously. Um, and like we said, at the end of the day, we just want to come in there and offer the best coverage and the best pricing we can. And if you decide to, you know, come with us, great. We would love to work with you and work with you every renewal and make sure you get the best pricing and best coverage is every renewal. Um, but at the end of the day, the, the most important thing is to have an insured or a business owner who is well informed about the coverages they need and should have on their insurance. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. And it's all about relationship. I mean, for, for most of these business owners, they don't, like I said, they, they don't necessarily pay attention to it like they should. And they know that. So they've got to find somebody that they can trust that knows what they're talking about to get them the coverage that they need for the price that they can afford. So, well, Hey, thanks so much for joining me today. Uh, we appreciate you being on the team and we pre I appreciate you taking the time to kind of answer some of these questions that I think people out there may be interested in that own auto repair shops. Um, and, uh, we'll talk soon. I'm sure.